It's hard to believe that just a short 10 years ago, the yeshiva barely had a minion of Bachram. Those Talmidim, their Hasmada and steadfast energy to build this yeshiva was what the yeshiva was built on. It's inspiring to see how much yeshiva has grown in these first 10 years. So now after having been in the yeshiva for many years, the yeshiva almost doubled the size when I first came. It's hard to believe 10 years have passed since the yeshiva started. We started first in Rabbi Levi's shul upstairs with a small group of 10 Talmidim. Every man that passed since that time, the yeshiva has grown and grown. And with its growth, its goals have also grown. Yeshiva's Kyle has recently grown a large amount and I, Baruch Shana, there's a chust learneth one of the young Eli. I've always looked up to the Kyle and I feel like they've always made an impact on the rest of the yeshiva. Now that I'm finally part of it, it's a wonderful responsibility. The role that the young Eli play in that slach of the Bachram cannot be overstated. The Kol Torah is strong as ever. Kenai Nahoro, the yeshiva's koil, it's all the Bachram, really lead the way. When I walk into this message, there's a cult title going on, there's people learning, whether it's the Bachram Yeshiva, the Kol Yungalite. It's just a nice matzav. One thing that hasn't changed is the camaraderie. The Yeshiva is a chevra. Even though in the beginning there was achtas, even now when it doubled, it still has that same achtas. So right when I came into Yeshiva, for the first little bit I felt new. I came right before Shachras. By the time lunch came around, I was an old Bachram Yeshiva already. What's so special about Yeshiva is that everyone is so close. It's like a family. And this closeness is definitely a component to helping the Elam Shtaik. The going away for uplifting Yom Toivim, the Hoi Kite. We spend time together and we grow together. Shavuos became my favorite time of the year. Being able to go upstate with Yeshiva and to be able to be part of all the Siddharam that are going on, the beautiful Sudas that are going on, being able to have conversations with the Rebbeim and being a part of something that is just beautiful. The Yom Neiram davening in Yeshiva is a very unique experience. The Olam is all together, everyone's davening all together. One of the highlights of Yeshiva is the seven hours with Tifas and the amount of happiness and simcha that everyone has afterwards, we all dance after seven hour of Tufus, it's uh, unbelievable, it's so hard to describe, and I look forward to this every year now. Besides the yeshiva's focus on the ruchnias of the Talmidim, they're also focused on the gashmias. Whether you're on the court, whether you're just in the dorm, or wherever you are, the yeshiva's helping you. So the yeshiva goes away a couple of times a year for a Shabbos. I feel like the times we go away, it gives the olam a time to rejuvenate and shep frisch koiches. It gives us a setting, a more informal and casual setting where we all get together. It's a time to recharge and to relax. In my three years in yeshiva, I've become very close with Rosh Shiva. Whether it's a personal matter or whether it's something to do with yeshiva, the Rosh Shiva is always there to help you through it. Myself personally, I'm in the Rosh Shiva share, but you see it every single day. There are guys from any share going over to any of the Rabbeim, to the Shalmeshers, anyone. The Rabbeim are very helpful and they make the learning much easier. I've been in Yeshiva for three years and I came to realize that Yeshiva has helped me with the Asmada and Cheshek for learning. The Yeshiva has given me the opportunity to become close with my Rabbeim, which is something that will last for the rest of my life. We are honoring this year the Tamidim that made the Yeshiva, the Yeshiva, what it is today. It's really outstanding that even after I left Yeshiva, the Rosh Yeshiva didn't lose contact with me. The connection remained strong, and I know it's that way with all the other alumni as well. I started in the Yeshiva six years ago, and the lessons Rosh Yeshiva taught me and the conversations that I had with, with him have helped me throughout my entire life since then. I'm not full-time Yeshiva, I'm married and, 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 we're, and I'm teaching and I'm a, I'm a Rebbe, but I, I do come here whenever I could, and I do come here in the beginning of the week, and it, it centers my whole week and it makes my whole week better. The Yarchei Kala, where we all came and had a regular first Seder, just like, the, just like the old times, it was a beautiful, beautiful experience where we were able to once again connect to the Yeshiva and connect to what makes us, us. The connection remains strong. This is my Yeshiva for life.